Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to the preview of Leicester City versus Liverpool. It's the Carabao Cup, the first outing for Liverpool in this competition this season and a chance to see some of the players we wouldn't normally see actually given a go. I mean, people like Alex Toxley Chamberlain, who I've been calling for to start for the last couple of games, especially the last one against Burnley, will get his chance, as will the likes of Marco Gruic, Danny Ward, a couple of others too. So quite exciting on that front. Uh, and also a bit of a free here. Obviously, we care a bit less about this competition than we do the others that we're involved in. So, you know, if, even if we do come out of here with a defeat, which... I might have said that a bit more emphatically had we not failed to win our last three games. But uh, a, a, a defeat here wouldn't be the end of the world. It'd just be good to see you know, whether Gomez can play at centre-back, whether the Ox is actually any good at midfield. A few things that we need to determine. Uh, but looking forward to it, I mean, obviously I was in a very downbeat mood after the Burnley game. Uh, I, I can kind of see the way this season's going already. I kind of wrote off our chances. That I'm, as is always the case, as was the case after the transfer window shut, and I had a couple of days to reflect on it. I'm obviously not as angry as I was then. I'm still looking forward to this game. It's a game I'm going to be going to, so look, I'm obviously enthusiastic about this one. Uh, I am still obviously not as happy as I was after the Arsenal win. Um, that's the nature of being a football fan. We have played very poorly since then, especially uh, sort of that second half against Burnley and obviously the second half at Man City and the way we capitulated against Sevilla. It's not been a great week for Liverpool, but this is a good chance to bounce back, see some kids we haven't seen in a while, see the likes of Ben Woodburn play. Um, so there is things to be excited about. I'm sure Leicester are going to make changes too. It's not a ground we've had a particularly good record at in recent years. We beat them 3-1 in 14-15 and then the last two seasons uh, their place they've beaten us 2-0 and 3-1 respectively. I remember last season they really battered us for 65 minutes or so until we got one back through Coutinho and you know almost had a late rally but really it's quite comfortable for them. Uh, this is obviously very different. It's a league it's, it's a league cup rather. It's going to be a great atmosphere there. I'm looking forward to being among three and a half three and a half thousand Liverpool fans uh, get a bigger allocation for the uh, for the League Cup game, so that's obviously nice. Let's get into predicted lineup. So Danny Ward will start, says Jurgen Klopp. Now moving on to the defence, uh, maybe not so easy to predict. I mean, John Flanagan, he said, may well get a shot on the bench, but he doesn't think he'll be able to complete 90 minutes. So I imagine with Joe Gomez starting at centre back, that Trent will stay at right back for this one. And Gomez, I think, will partner Dayan Lovren, who missed out at the weekend, uh, whether Lovren comes back in uh, for Clavin. As far as the league game is concerned, I don't know. Clavin didn't have a great game uh, against Burnley, but Lovren's not been great for ages now. So, you know, you can you can, you can pick and choose where you want. Neither, neither man are particularly helpful for Liverpool. But if we can see a good performance from Joe Gomez here, then that might stake his claim for a centre-back berth. Klopp's obviously thinking about it. If he's going to be putting him in that position this time, he has hinted at it. So maybe we could see a Gomez and Matip partnership, which a lot of us have been calling for uh, going forward. Um, On to left-back. Robertson played okay at the weekend, but I still think Moreno might be Klopp's first choice. So I think Robertson will keep his place here with Moreno uh, coming back into the side on Saturday when we play Leicester again. Into the midfield, uh, Henderson obviously had his rest, but I still think he might be given another bit of a rest here uh, to be safe for the weekend. So therefore, uh, Genie Vinaldum will come back into the side. I think he might, he may well get two games, two games in or four or five days, uh, and. Oxley Chamberlain is going to start. That has been confirmed. He's going to get his go in midfield. What we've been waiting to see. What's he all about? What is he all about when it matters? Um, he's going to get 90 minutes here, or you know, a good 60 at least, uh, to prove himself from midfield. Let's hope he can put in a good performance and uh, you know, attacking and defensively. Uh, hope he can contribute. And alongside them both will be Marco Grujic, who again we're yet to see this season properly. Um, he had a good, solid pre-season as he seemed to last year as well. So let's hope he can transcend that form uh, into the actual uh, competitive competition. So looking forward to seeing him in action. And then going forward, now obviously Firmino and Sturridge both played in the draw with Burnley, so I'm expecting Solanke to get a go from the start here. That's going to be pretty intriguing. Uh, on, on the wings, you're looking at the likes of Ben Woodburn. Uh, again, I haven't seen him this season. As far as the other wing position is concerned, I'm not sure whether he's going to go with Coutinho. I think he might go with Coutinho. Um, not sure why, maybe he'll interchange between Oxlade, Chamberlain and Coutinho in terms of who plays central, who plays wide. I think Coutinho might get another go here, seeing as he didn't look particularly impressive the other night. I mean, surely Salah needs a rest, Mane suspended, so it would make sense. I mean, Danny Ings probably not quite ready to start yet, so I think Coutinho to start. That's how Liverpool are going to line up as far as I'm concerned. I always predict us to win, or you know, more often than not, I predict us to win. I'm, am I going to do that this time? I and mean, we've got a torrid, torrid record at Leicester, and... You know, obviously we're resting a lot of players. They will too. I expect Vardy to miss out and Mares, but they've still got some good players in there. Ian Atcher will probably start. Damari Gray, who I've always been keen on, will probably get a go. Maybe Slimani, who troubled us in pre-season. Oh, gosh. Do I, do, I, do I keep the faith? Do you know what? I'm going to go for us to win on penalties. Uh, I think we're going to draw one all after normal time uh, with Oxley chain and scoring our goal. There you go. I'm backing him. Uh, and then we're going to win on penalties and advance to the next round. And then Saturday becomes the even more important, trickier one. There's the preview, guys. 
It's Leicester versus Liverpool, the Carabao Cup. Make of that competition what you will. That's my predicted 11. That's my predicted score. I'm looking forward to the game. I'm going to be vlogging it um, as I do with whenever I go to a Liverpool game on this channel. I'm not going to, you know, be filming the game because I'll just be too into it. But I'll film the day and you know what have you because I've got quite a horrible schedule in terms of travel and coming back to London. Um, soon after so looking forward to it hope you enjoyed the video guys please do leave a comment with your score prediction and your predicted lineup uh, of course subscribe like share everything like that and i'll see you next time